hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarter so happy sunday everyone i hope you had a fabulous weekend and i wish you a blissful new week so today's video we have to talk about the real truth about the relationship that only of ife have with olori ashley I'm making this video to clarify a lot of things because we've, we've been seeing a lot people calling her a, so so many names, um, including you know um, calling her him homebreaker and all of that. So before we start, there is this um, this comment that someone made, and this beautiful lady that made this comment is one of my viewers and she made this comment in um, another youtubers you know um, comment section and i have to read it for you guys the the person that wrote this has been someone that comments positively on every of my videos that she comments on i've never seen her you know being biased or insulting anybody on comment section she's always saying it straight the way it is so that's why i want to read this comment and she wrote oni is a king he does not legally marry any woman he does not take any woman to court to wed once family is being sent to a woman's family with food and gifts traditionally that is wife ayaba is the same as olori Ayaba is a wife of Oba. Olori is a title in use to calling Aya Oba. Aya is wife in Yoruba. In Yoruba land, when a traditional wedding is done, whether public or private, you are considered a wife to the king. Olori Ashley and Oni has been married secretly for over five years. She was just never on social media. We know that in life, no woman will come out publicly to own it to her chest to call herself who she who she is only is not someone's husband though he is also ashley's husband yeah so this piece that she left here you know will clarify a lot of things because a lot of people have this um this in their mind that it was olori ashley that made queen naomi to leave her marriage that you know it was olori ashley that you know that scattered only of ife and queen naomi's marriage man let's just reason it she has been there five years before only um she has been there two years she has been secretly married to only according to this write-up two years before um only of ife married queen naomi so that means she was there when Queen Naomi came and a lot of people said it's because um, she already had a child. That was why she was not made, made, made the Yeyelua of Hileife. And even when Queen Naomi left, Queen Naomi has never come out to say that, oh, that Olori actually made my marriage to, you know, made my marriage to to scatter or she is the person that was between my marriage and all of that the thing there is maybe because she has never she has not been on social media you know it was just only her foundation um page that was on instagram and yeah on youtube too you know a lot of people didn't know much about her but i know that i've made video about her that was last year early last year about her but a lot of people did not believe me then so the thing there is people should stop calling her homebreaker and you know and all of that so this piece now this um beautiful woman wrote to drop on the comment section this is a very um very good one because it will make us understand a lot of things that we don't know before you know i've always seen hulori ashley calling herself ayaba on those her motivational quotes or motivational write-up she used to drop on her um disabled um instagram page you know um you know every time she be calling herself ayaba this ayaba dimola this that 
I'm not Yoruba, you know. I don't know mean of Ayaba. So, I, be, I keep on asking people, what's the mean of Ayaba? No, I saw Ayaba. It was recently that I saw that Ayaba means um wife. And now, this woman too from a Yoruba. You know, sometimes, all this... Um, there are some Yoruba words you will see on Google. It's not even correct. So, I like to have, like, first-hand information. So, like she said on this write-up that Ayaba means wife in Yoruba. You know, Ayaba and Olori is the same thing. So... In case people that don't know, Olori actually is married to Oni of Ife. She is the wife of Oni of Ife. You know, sometimes when we do video and we put her um, new wife of Oni of Ife or latest wife of Oni of Ife or um, Queen Ashley or Olori Ashley, a lot of people will come on the comment section to tell me to remove that Queen or remove that Olori, that she is not Olori, that she is not a Queen. Now, wow, even if she's not a queen and I put queen, I believe that every woman is a queen. Every woman is a queen on their own. You, as a woman that is watching this video, you are a queen. You have to carry yourself as one. So, you know, people saying we should remove that queen. La, la, la. Now you've heard it. She has been married to the king secretly for over five years. And she was being dragged, called all sorts of names. You know, a lot of people hated her because they feel that she is a homebreaker, that she's the one that broke Oni of Ife and um, Queen Naomi's marriage. And I'll keep saying it. What happened between Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi? Marriage. Their marriage, being, um, their marriage collapsing or their separation or their divorce is between... Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. Both of them knows what exactly happened between them that made Queen Naomi to call it a, a quit. I don't think it's this young lady right here. Don't be surprised that maybe they even keep in touch, they talk, they chat. And most of us, um, some people on social media will be fighting war be doing as if there is war between both of them there is no war and you know and what really made people to feel so was um you know during that festival that queen naomi was sitting um close to the king and he was sitting at the right this person was sitting at the left while the king was sitting at the middle a lot we are saying why would she sit there is she a wife is she this is she that okay now it has been clarified all those uh, we hear say, we hear say, you know, even before all these things started, Jesus Love has said it that other wives of Oni of Ife wants to come out on social media. They want the world to know who they really are. They don't want to be only answering wife, wife, wife inside the house. They want the world to know that they are the wives of Oni of Ife. That is not only Queen Naomi that will be known. Let's leave sentiments aside. You as a human being, if you are a wife to a certain person, or let's assume you are a wife, one of the wife of a prominent man, and the man is only, f um, um, and the the is only one of the man's wife that you know a lot of people know. Nobody even believe that he has other wife. Won't you feel like it's not nice? That is no good. That everybody is supposed to be seen as a wife. Even Queen Naomi herself did not stop any of them from being seen as a wife. No, Queen Naomi has nothing to do about it. Maybe it's instruction from the king. Maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. So for them to say they want to come out for, for people to know that they, they exist, that there is other wives of the king, is not something that people should just be... You know, crazy about saying that they are the people that spoiled Oni of Ife marriage between Olori Naomi. Olori, Olori Naomi knows all these things and she stayed for three years. So, whatever makes her to live um, is between she and Oni of Ife and her happiness too. She needs to go where she feels that she will find her happiness, her mental health too, all of those things. If, um, if, Olori Naomi decides tomorrow that she don't want um, Olori Ashley 
decide tomorrow that she don't want to marry again. She will move on with life and life goes on. So now people should stop attacking her. The truth is out. She's married to the king. You know when I said it early last year, last year a lot of Yorubas were attacking me and say that I don't know what I'm saying. But sometimes we know what we are saying, but sometimes we don't know how to put it so that um, people will not come for us. I'm telling you, bloggers have seen a lot of things, a lot of things. There are some things that I can't even, you know, talk about on my channel because I've seen all those things. I've known all those things. And when I see other people saying it, I will know that, yes, I know what they're saying is the truth, but I don't want to put it out here. You understand? So now you've known that Oni of Ife married Olori Ashley traditionally, like normal traditional wedding. A normal king, like kings, they don't do even church wedding or um, court wedding. No. What they do is traditional wedding. So just like Queen Naomi now said she's not marrying again. It just left for her and her people to go to Ileife. Do, you know, do the tradition, tradition stuff and everything. Everything is, everything will just end. So maybe some people are still thinking that maybe let's see how they will go to court and all of that to take time for them to divorce no they're not going to court anything even if they are going to court to be traditional court like customary court but i don't think everything is done in ileife the tradition or anything divorce they will be it will be done in ileife all the rituals everything that will just um make everybody to go their separate ways you know so people um you know bashing this young lady young lady called only actually peace please we should all stop she is not the cause of queen naomi's marriage breaking and queen naomi has never ever come out to say that oh is olori ashley that made my marriage to stop even in her write-up she said there are side side attraction or side distraction no you know she never you know meant like she so since she's a wife she still has the same right as queen naomi but the thing there is queen naomi has um queen naomi is the yeyeluwa of hileife so both of them are wife wife ayaba olori they are the same so now you know i hope we we'll, you know reduce how we call her names and all of that she's still human she's somebody's wife if you respect only of Ife, you are supposed to respect um his wife um his children his anything his family anybody considered his family if you respect him you should also respect the person so olori ashley is the wife of oni so respect her the way you will respect oni because a king deserves respect like is a is force that you must respect a king a king is a king you must rest even if you don't like that king you must accord that king the respect that's why we have a leader when we have a leader if you like the leader or you don't like the leader you must accord that leader respect courts demand that you accord that leader a respect just like in your school you have senior prefects in school like when you are in high school, you have senior prefect. Some of us will say, hmm, we don't like this senior. But still, you will still respect her. You will not come to her face and be insulting her. Who are you? They, you, you, they will give you punishment now. Or maybe you, in, you are in one organization, your director or your CEO, just because you don't like the person, you start disrespecting the person. You, it's a must that you must give the person respect. That is it. That is why we have the word leader. We have the word king. We do not frame it. When you go to dictionary, check the meaning of leader, the meaning of king, you know, the meaning of president, governors, all, all those that. Anybody that is higher in position that... See, one thing about life, some people place in, in some certain positions. It's not as if that they are better than you. No. It's not as if they are better than other people. But it's just that they are the choosing one. There is something they saw in him or her that made them to give them that position. In case of tomorrow, if you are insulting those people that their position are higher than you, maybe one day you might reach that side and that respect you'll be expecting. 
you might not see it because when you are when you are down you do not respect the people that are up now you are up you want the people that are down to respect you life is just like a circle it goes round it goes round and round the path that has passed before it will still come back it will still turning and turning and turning that's why they said nothing is constant in this life nothing is permanent so with that i'll say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned some lesson from what i said it's not only about Uluri ashley king and that all these things be picking life lessons that's the essence of all these videos we are doing it's not as if we want to entertain you that i know is entertainment and also update you and also you learn some lessons you know that is life even pouring water away has a lot of lessons when you pour water away you can't take it back when you pour when you pour when you pour water on a sand you can't take that water back that water the sand will just drain it will just dry immediately you not see the water again it's still a lesson but it's just everyday occurrence you understand yeah if you don't get it forget about it thank you so much for watching and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be getting notification anytime i post a new video i love you guys so much